Hey everybody, Adam here. Today I thought it would be fun to talk about funk guitar. This is a rhythm guitar thing that's found in music like Earth, Wind & Fire, Tower of Power, all these great rhythm and blues groups where the guitar gets super funky. What I'm going to do today is give you the, the bread and butter chords, the ones that I use probably 80% of the time when playing in groove type funk music. And of course, there's many voicings, but these are the kind of staple voicings that get right to the point. We're going to take the chord C7. By the way, we're mostly going to concentrate on dominant seventh chords playing funk with dominant seventh chords. Maybe in another video we'll do minor seven and other chord types, but for today we're gonna stick with the key of C seven. So the first thing I wanna show you is a voicing that has the root, the C on top, because that just has this, you're right in the pocket, you've got the, the button on top, you've got the root on top, so it's real solid. It's this C up here on the top top E string. For the most part, we're going to be using three or four strings, and those three or four are the going to be the top strings on the guitar or the strings that are closest to the floor. So this first voicing has the root on top. From the fourth string, from the D string down to the floor, we have eighth fret, seventh fret, eight, and then eight again or we have the flat seven. We have D, which is the ninth of the chord, so we get this kind of jazzy sound in there. Then we have the fifth, which is G, and the root, of course, is C. All right, and... Great sound. There's no third in this chord, which is cool. It opens it up, it gives it a little more of a hollow kind of sound, but still very funky. All right, so that's one way to play a dominant seven funk voicing with the root on top. Now, what I do is visualize whatever chord is occurring, I visualize on the first string the theory of that chord, the root, the third, the fifth, and the flat seven. So since we're talking about a C7 chord, the notes would be C, E, G, and B flat. And using, using the first string, we're gonna find the first note C would be at the eighth fret. That's the root. Then we need E. And so we're gonna jump up here to the 12th fret to get the third or the E up here. So far we have a C and we have an E and we're gonna we're going to add chord voicings to each of these. Next comes G, so I'm going to jump back here to the third fret. Then I'm going to go up to the sixth fret for the B flat. And that's that funky flat seven sound. Okay, so if we go back to the beginning of the fretboard, the fifth is the first one up here. And this is a really great funky little shape. It's B flat, C, and G or from the G string to the floor, three, one, and three, or flat seven, root, roots in the middle, and then G on top, that's the fifth. That sounds like this. Okay, then we jump up to the B flat. The voicing that I like to use with the B flat is this. We're going to use four strings. From the D string to the floor, we have five, seven. Then we have the fifth fret. And then we have the sixth fret. And this shape also has the ninth in it. The G is the fifth. We have that jazzy nine. We have the third. And we have the flat seven. This is a funky voice. And then this one, fifth on top, 
flat seven. The root we've had. And then we get to the third, which is up here at the 12th fret. And you make this what looks like a D7 shape. Slide it all the way up here. We're using three strings, the G string, the B string, and the E string. And so starting on the G string, we have 12th fret, 11th fret, 12th fret. Another pretty funky voicing. This has this tritone or on top, very funky. The third I like to sus, meaning bring it up a half step. So the note that's on the high E string, it's gonna go up to F and come back down. Very cool. Okay, so let's put these in order now. We'll review. So we have this C7. We have this one. We have this one. And we have this one. All right, and let's kind of jam along with these. You can play as I play if you like, or just watch what I do. Put a little bass on here. Okay, here we go. Fifth on top. Flat seven. Root. Third. Sus. I'll work backwards. Super fun. That's the way I would first start to get your funk voicings together is put the theory of the chord, learn voicings as, oh, this is the flat seven voicing. This is the fifth voicing, etc. And don't forget that when you go into other keys, like for instance, let's say we had F7. So if I had this shape for C7 up here with the third on top, if you know that the third of F7 is A, you just take this until the A is on top, and now you have an F7 funk chord, which connects nicely to the C7. So if you're going from C7 to F7, there's always something close by to connect into. C7, F7. Just, this is to get you started on, on funk voicings on the guitar. And like I say, these are my bread and butter chords. 80, 90% of the time, these are the chords when playing funk that I kind of gravitate towards and then I em embellish those. You, you know, for instance, what I mean by that is, uh, let's say I have this C7 back here. And then instead of jumping up to this next voicing that has the B flat on top, there's a voicing that you can use where you go from the G to the A and then up to the B flat. Okay, so for instance, that would look like this, right? And so I go. All C7. All right, 
So have fun and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel on your way out. For more information on my signature guitar and musicianship courses, check out the information in the links below. Bye for now.